What's up guys? In this video, we are going to be repairing the hood latch on my 2002 Toyota Tacoma. Now, the problem is the latch itself. The one that's on it, it's over 20 years old and it's 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 broke. And so now, uh, what basically what happens is the hood will not stay down. The latch mechanism itself will not lock in the way that it should. And you can get these on Amazon. This is the new one here. I'll put a link down in the description below. They're very easy to change out, and I'm going to show you how that's done in this video. You can see the existing latch here. Uh, it's only held in by a total of three 10 millimeter bolts. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove those, and then that will give us access to be able to get that cable unhooked there. And you can see that little speck there. It's a little slimy and messy, but you can see right there that is the cable that locks in that runs into the lever that's inside the cab. So we'll get this cleaned up and get these bolts loosened up and get the old latch out. Now guys, one trick of getting this off, you can most certainly take this grill loose and get it out of your way or get yourself a swivel and an extension and just go right through the grill. Save yourself a little bit of time. Okay guys, I wanted to take a minute to show you a close up of something uh, for any of you guys that are getting into some difficulties getting your cable out. You can see here, there is my cable. Uh, I did not need to replace this cable. The cable itself is fine. The problem is this latch. But what I wanted to show you when you go to get your cable loose, uh, you can see here this first notch back here that I'm pointing at with my finger. That notch is what's going to set right here. It's going to capture that cable on this and keep it stationary. This section here is what moves back and forth with your latch. And the way that you get that out uh, is you can look on the new one, but I'm going to show you on the original as well. You see how this section here has that twist. There's a little bit of an opening. Bear with me, guys. I'm filming this on my phone as I'm doing it, and I'm just trying to get some information out to any of you guys that run into something like this. Okay, this right here is what that ball that's on that cable will clip into, okay? What you do is get yourself just a little bit of slack in that cable. You know, I found it easier. If you pull it loose from back here first, just take something, pop it right out of there. You can probably get it with your fingers. And then right here, this section here, pull that ball, just push it forward a little bit to where it's sticking through, and then just flex that cable down and lift it right out of there. Okay, that's just, you know, it's not hard to do. It can be a bit aggravating. It does t tend to stick. And once you do that, going into the new one is basically just the opposite. Okay, let's just look at the new one real quick. That one's old, so we don't need to worry about it anymore. Now, the new one, you can see here where we have to go is underneath the spring. This one has the spring in place and you can remove that spring and then put it back in. But guys, if you can get that cable in there without doing that, you're going to save yourself some aggravation. Put that ball in first. Put that front part of that in first and then put that secondary part into the uh, where it goes. That way it makes it a little bit easier for you. So that's what we're going to do now. Now just to show you guys and I'm doing this for any of you guys out there that may not do this kind of stuff regularly. You know, I have got the cable flexed into position. Basically, I, I took my needle nose, gave myself some slack, and that's why you see this uh, loose. Okay, don't bolt it in. Get that cable in first, then bolt it in. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Okay, but now that I have that cable stretched in, I got the rear section into the section that you know that little grommet there that holds it into place and everything is good to go and now all i have to do is literally just bolt everything back together okay get my three bolts in it and i'm good to go so that's what we're going to do now again guys get yourself an extension and a swivel it makes this a whole lot easier just reach right through there twist it a bit and you're able to run them down just got to get it lined up and test it out and we should be good to go and there it is guys doesn't take a whole lot to get that done save yourself some money and taking it to a repair shop tested it had to line it up just a little bit no big deal and once i got it lined up works fine tested it released it latched it and put it to its paces 
and it's good to go. But guys, I'm going to put links to everything down below this video to where if there's any tools or anything that you're needing, you can pick them up down there. You can also pick up one of the brackets or one of the cables. I'll put a link to one of the cables down there as well. I didn't need it on mine, but some of you guys out there, if you need a cable, I'll put one down there. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.